Yo, what's up? Today, let's make some beats that match my followers' profile pics. Today's theme, Plug and B. Plug and B is a hip-hop subgenre that started during the SoundCloud renaissance in 2017. The style is a mix of the dreamy and wavy aesthetic from plug-style beats and the melodies from R&B. It creates this emotional style of plug music that's perfect for late night drives and being in your feels. There's lots of interesting sounds found in plug and B beats too, like electric pianos, string sections, and even sliding synth leads, giving plug and B this natural and organic sound, balancing out the trap style plug drums. There's lots of producers that help create the plug and B sound as well, including Zan Gang with the Surreal Gang and Goyard. And some of the biggest names in the genre are artists like Summers and Autumn. The plug and B style did lose some steam a little bit after 2017. But there's been a resurgence recently, which is super exciting for a new era of producers. But yeah, I just really like the genre and I think it creates some pretty vibey and interesting melodic moments that you wouldn't typically hear in regular plug beats. So today we're making plug and B style beats to match my followers profile pics. Remember to like the video and follow me on my socials if you want to be part of it. First beat. The first pic that really inspired me to make this video was this follower on Instagram. The picture is a bit blurry, but it looks like a time lapse of a road or a highway. I just really like the colors in this pic and it just gives me pretty dreamy vibes. Perfect to capture that plug and be aesthetic. For my track, I kept it pretty standard with the sounds I'm using. I'm using some spicy keys. The string sound. And this little sliding synth. Even though the sounds are pretty simple, they really came alive because of the sound selection and the chord progression, which are things you can learn all about with Melodics. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This video is sponsored by Melodics. Melodics is a desktop app that teaches you how to play the piano. All you need is a MIDI keyboard. Melodics covers everything from the basics of piano like finger placement and chords to even some more of the complex technical exercises. And everything's organized in different courses so you can improve exactly where you want to. For example, since Plug and B gets a lot of its melodic inspiration from R&B, the R&B course helped me a ton to come up with these beats. Melodics also keeps track of your accuracy and timing while you play and gives feedback on what you need to work on. It makes learning the piano pretty fun and intuitive. The course is also designed with different genres in mind, ranging from jazz, hip hop, future bass, and everything in between. And once you gain knowledge from Melodics, you can use that knowledge outside of the app, like working on your own music, jamming out in a studio session, or even performing live. If you want the app, there's a link in the description. It is free to download. I didn't add much effects to these sounds, just a bandpass EQ and a reverb. And just to add some more spice, I made a second pattern for the sliding synth. And let's not forget this other sliding synth I made in GMS, and it just simply plays a counter melody. <laughs> Lastly is the drums. Very plug style sounds and this thumpy 808 to match. Here's the beat. Next, beat. This one's coming from a YouTube commenter and I really like how simple their profile pic was. It is simply just a clock and their name is The Waking Hour. I even went to their channel and it also ties in with their channel banner. It says TikTok, nice. By the way, follow me on TikTok. Time is such an interesting theme when it comes to music. It could represent a lot. It could represent the abundance of time, like life is moving too slow, or it could represent a lack of time, like there's an uncomfortable urgency or something. I kind of wanted this beat to feel monotonous while still giving you those tasty, warm sounding R&B chords. 
For this track, I actually used this clock sound effect that I found on Looperman. Shout out to this dude because he has a ton of Foley sounds on his account. It's incredible. I looped the ticking sound and added a few EQs to cut the higher frequencies. I also added a reverb and stereo shaper for that good old spacey feel. Once that was done, I used an instance of Lounge Lizard and laid down some nice chords. I did something a little different with these chords than what I usually do. I tend to change chords after four bars or so, but for this track, I wanted to take my time and extend the progression a little. I played the same chord again and added a little melody at the end. I just lived in the moment. I don't know why I did it, it just felt right. I added an instance of vintage chorus, a high pass EQ, and a reverb to dress up the sound. Next, I added this acid bass from GMS and this violin string to play on top. And once the melodic parts were finished, the drums came pretty easy. They aren't exactly what you would expect from Plug and B, but I've said this before and I'll say it again. Rules are made to be broken. If you know where that's from, we're friends now. That show was my childhood. <laughs> I still feel like the beat was missing some ear candy, so I added this effects perk and this synth that'll play during the hook. And now that that's done, that's pretty much it. Here's the beat. Final beat. The last profile pic is from a follower on my TikTok, and it's just those little decorative flowers in someone's bedroom. But I absolutely love the colors and graininess of this picture. It just spoke to me, the vibes were there. The picture makes me think of those gloomy memories you have where you read a heartbreaking text from your crush and you just gotta sit on your bed and stare at the wall. No, I'm not talking from experience. Me? Nah. <sighs> For my track, I'm using this pad preset from Harmless. I really like the name of this preset too. I thought it was pretty fitting. I also EQ'd and stereo shaped this out. Next up, I added these piano keys and keys on classic to spice up the chords. Up next are the go to strings. I also band passed and stereo shaped these as well. And to finish up the melodies, I'm using 3X Oscillator with a little portamento slide, and I played this lead melody. I added an EQ, reverb, delay with Comeback Kid, and a stereo shaper, giving it that pretty big and spacious feel. I felt like the melodies carried the song pretty hard, so I decided to keep the drums very basic and mellow.
everything sounds good, the vibes are there, I added a few cymbal sounds, and here's the final beat. <laughs> 